Having high quality audio is one of the main things that will take your videos to the next level. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create top tier audio for your videos. When it comes to creating videos, audio is actually more important than video. Viewers will sit through a video with not so great visuals, but they will immediately stop watching a video with terrible audio. Trust me, don't let this happen to you. Now, let me share with you an audio setup that is not only versatile, but will transform the quality of your videos immediately. Now, the core piece of gear in this setup is the Zoom F3. Now, this tiny device packs a lot of punch and will blow your socks off the first time you use it. It's a bit unassuming when you first look at it, but one of the biggest reasons why this is a core piece of gear in this setup is that you can record up to 192 kilohertz with 32-bit float recording. Now you're probably like, what is that, right? 32-bit float recording is essentially a technology that allows you to record a very wide range of audio levels from like the faintest whisper to a blood-curdling scream from a horror film. It'll actually record it all. And this means that there's absolutely no need to set or adjust the gain. And this also means that your audio recordings will not clip. So gone are the days where you had to ensure that your audio levels were absolutely perfect. Otherwise, you'd have to scrap the entire thing and start over. With 32-bit float, it's gonna be perfect for people who are recording solo like I am right now, and like you most likely will be as well. Now, this will set you back around $299 as of this recording, but it also retails at about $349. So now this isn't the cheapest piece of gear in the world, but it's well worth the investment and you'll be able to use it for many, many years to come. It has two XLR jacks for XLR microphones, and I'll cover more on that in a moment. It has a line out jack, a headphone jack if you need to monitor audio, and it does take two AA batteries, but I personally prefer to use a USB-C port, which takes priority over the batteries that you have installed, which is actually great because then the batteries serve as a backup. In order to store the audio that you're recording, it does have a micro SD card slot for saving those audio files. And you can either take that micro SD card and put it into your computer. But personally, because it's so tiny, I just plug my F3 directly into the computer and I transfer my audio files that way. I really just don't wanna risk losing it or breaking it somehow because it's so small. So be sure to pick up a high quality one. Personally, I use a Scandisk 128 gigabyte card and it works fantastic. Now, I also like to use the line out jack and run that from the F3 directly into my camera, and I use that as scratch audio since the F3 lets audio pass through it even if you're not recording. But in order to get that raw, super crispy, high quality audio, you definitely need to utilize the WAV file. Now, of course, if you do that, you will have to sync the WAV file in post while you're editing your video, but it's well worth it. The difference in the sound quality is night and day. Not only that, you'll also have more data to work with if you want to actually tweak the audio a bit as well. Next, let's talk about microphone options. Now, it's worth noting that the Zoom F3 is nothing if you don't have a good microphone, number one, and number two, if your microphone placement is not optimal. So first, let's talk about grabbing a good high quality microphone. Now, the microphone that I use and I've been using for video content creation for about four years now or so is the DDS Mic 2. Now, this is gonna run you anywhere from $320 to $360, depending on the time of year and if there's a sale or something like that. Other options that will be less expensive but still have great quality is gonna be the Rode NTG2 or the Sennheiser MKE 600. Now, this DDS Mic 2 is an XLR microphone, and since it does require phantom power, be sure to turn on the 48 volt phantom power setting on the F3. Now, you'll also need an XLR cable as well. You can grab that from Amazon really easily. By the way, everything I'm talking about is gonna be in the description box below. Now, one of the things that I like about shotgun microphones is that it's extremely versatile. With one configuration, it stays well outside of the frame and you don't have to worry about the microphone actually being visible in your shot. And this is excellent for talking head videos like this one. And in another configuration, you can literally mount it to your camera rig and record that way. And this works really well if you find yourself moving around in different locations to film throughout your house or wherever. More on that though in another video. Now, with that being said, to get the highest quality audio, you want to have the microphone as close as possible to you when you're recording. That way you get the best quality audio possible out of your microphone and the Zoom F3. The main way that I recommend the microphone getting as close to your mouth as possible, but out of the frame, 
is to use a mic stand or boom stand. Setting the microphone up like so, you run the cable to the F3 and then you make sure the microphone is pointed down towards your chest and then you're good to go. Now I guarantee you that when you sit down to edit the video, you're gonna be amazed at the audio quality coming out of this thing. So now let's look at the total cost of everything we talked about because we talked about a lot today. The Zoom F3 as of recording is gonna run you at about $299. The ScanDisk micro SD card, that's 128 gigs, is going to be $18. The DDS Mic 2 is going to be $359. A mic stand is going to be $32. XLR cable is going to be $15. And that's $723 in total. Now, you can get the price down a little bit by going with one of those other cheaper options I mentioned earlier. But be sure not to cheap out too much. Otherwise, the quality of your audio is going to definitely suffer and is not going to have that wow factor that I'm talking about. Now, with that being said, you're going to need more than just high quality audio to take your videos to the next level. So watch this video right here to learn exactly what that next step is and how it will lead to longer watch time and more videos. Thanks for watching this one and I'll see you in the next video.